If you guys want to create the best highlight video that gets you recruited to play Division One soccer here in the United States, then make sure to get your notebook out because I'll be giving you five important tips in order to create the best highlight video possible to get recruited for college soccer. Okay guys, if you stick to the end of the video, I'll be giving you an extra tip in order to make your highlight video stand out from the crowd and make sure coaches really want to recruit you and take you to the highest level here in the United States. Alright guys, so the first tip in order to create ideally the best video you can possibly make is have someone record your games because it's important that you're compiling all this footage in order to create your highlight video. So it doesn't matter if you have like an iPad, iPhone, or a Samsung, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have a good quality device that will help you record your games, that's really important because then you'll be able to get that footage you need. And whenever you're recording these games, make sure someone can be at a height instead of like at field level so then the coaches are able to see the entirety of the field in order to see how mapped out the field is and they can see you better because when you're at field level it's very hard to see a player at the distance so if you can get the person to record your games at a height then it'll be the most ideal situation for you guys so tip number two in order to create an ideal highlight video to get recruited is to have a bio as your intro for example as you can see in my video here i have a picture of myself in game and a bio stating my name my birth date, my weight, my height, position, GPA, test scores and all that. In order for the coaches to really know who I am and to understand where I'm coming from, my background, so then they have an idea of the type of player they're bringing in. So it's important to introduce yourself to the coach through this quick bio in the beginning of the video. Hi, how are you? So they know who you are before they get into your highlights. So make sure to have a quick like 10 to 15 second intro with a picture, with a bio, so that the coaches know who you are. All right, so my third and one of my most vital tips is to make sure to have quality over quantity. What I mean is, in order for these coaches to really recruit you, the first minute or even the first highlight that you add in your video must be an attention grabber. If the coach isn't interested in you in the first minute or that first clip, you will just click off the video and go to the next highlight video as they already have hundreds and hundreds of um, potential high school soccer players that want to play for their university. So you have to make sure that your best clip is the first clip forward for them in order to really see that true potential inside of you. And with quality, you want to make sure that you don't just put nonsense and random clips that really have no meaning or that are not showcasing your talent. For example, I'd rather see a person create a three minute highlight video with about 20 clips that are high quality level than a 10 minute video with about like 60 70 clips that are really poor and they're just not showing anything or even just showing the player running around the field and barely touching the ball therefore the quality is more important than the quantity as the coach is actually just scouting you through this video and don't forget since we're in this pandemic <laughs> Most of you guys who need to create a highlight video need to showcase your best clips because these coaches will not come out to your games because of the COVID restrictions that are imposed on them. So make sure you're putting your best quality clips up front for the coach to see you. Alright guys, so tip number four basically goes hand in hand with tip number three, which is showcase your best plays that you have. As I said before, the quantity doesn't matter. It's all about that quality. If you can get a good three to five minutes of high quality video, then that's already amazing because you already have that good footage and highlights that you need. The question you need to ask yourself is what makes me as a player stand out from the crowd? It's already an oversaturated place where there's so many videos and there's so many different players putting their highlights out there that coaches see like maybe hundreds and hundreds of videos a day. So for example, what makes you stand out from the rest of the crowd. That makes the coach say, you know what? He's the perfect fit. He's the one that I need and everyone else is the are people that I don't need. All right guys, so tip number five is basically you have to think about it as self-advertising. These schools are already getting hundreds and hundreds of emails, videos, resumes, 
telling them about the players and telling them about what type of players they can bring in. So as you're making this highlight video, you gotta tell yourself, can I stand out from the crowd? As I said before, it's really about self advertising because you wanna make sure you're like the best product possible for the consumer. Cause that's who these coaches are. They're the consumers, you're the product. So you gotta fine tune that product in order to make sure the coaches really want to consume that. Basically, that's really the concept of highlight videos, especially in the pandemic, because now as the consumer, which is the coach, they're looking at you, the player, who is like the product, and they have to decide, okay, is this product gonna benefit me more than this other product? Or will they just be a product that doesn't really do anything or doesn't really help me out? So you gotta think about it that way where it's more like self-advertising, where you can really push yourself and promote yourself in the best way possible if you create the best highlight video that you can. All right guys, so if you stay till the end of this video to see this extra tip, you guys are absolute legends. And this tip will really help you guys make your video stand out. So the extra tip I'll be giving you that will help benefit and make your highlight video stand out is by showcasing the highest level possible that you've been playing at for your club or high school. Coaches are all aware of different divisions and different club levels because they're already scouting so many players. They know which levels are high and which levels are low. If you can show the coach high level clips where you're standing out and you're dominating in those games, that coach will say, wow, this guy is an amazing player. But if you're showcasing low level Sunday league type clips and scoring like 10 goals a game, the coach knows you're playing Sunday league. So why would it matter that you send them a video with Sunday League clips because this competition is already very low so they know if they take you you might not cope with the intensity of the games at the high level in the United States so make sure you're putting the best clips at the highest level possible because coaches want a player that can play not only at the highest level but can dominate as well okay guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and make sure to subscribe down below and also comment what type of videos i should be making for you guys in the future in order to improve as football players in the meantime please go out there and ball out and make sure to perform so that you guys can make it at the division one level peace